This week, Taipei endured a high of 38.9 degrees Celsius, which is its hottest July temperature of all time. Due to its concrete surfaces and lack of vegetation, the city tends to be hotter than surrounding areas in a phenomenon known as the urban heat island. Researchers on Thursday released a report identifying ways to resolve that heat island effect and deliver relief to urban dwellers. Heat sizzles off the asphalt as morning commuters wait with parasols. The whole city is hot, but the downtown area bears the brunt of it. Heat doesn't dissipate well in the greater Taipei area because it's a basin. It's 10 in the morning at Taipei City's Zhongzhen District, and we're reading a high temperature of 36 degrees. According to National Chenggong University professor Lin Ziping, Greater Taipei suffers from the urban heat island effect. The five worst heap traps are Wanhua, Zhongzheng, Datong, Banqiao, and Sanchong districts. On average, these areas are 2 to 2.5 degrees hotter than Nangang and Neihu. Taipei is cursed with conditions that make it terrible in the summer because it is a basin. I'm referring to Datong district, Zhongzheng district, and Wanhua district, or areas like New Taipei's Banqiao. These areas are characterized by dense urban development and lots of roads and buildings. They don't have enough green space. They are poorly vegetated. Deep in the concrete jungle, it's hard for heat to escape. City dwellers face temperatures higher than that in surrounding suburbia. But experts say the urban heat island effect can be mitigated. The key, they say, is air circulation. If you want the fastest way to cool down, it's to enable the flow of wind. For example, rivers. A flowing river can drive wind. Our approach to rivers shouldn't be to stink up their waters, leave our pollution in there, and then try to get away from them. We should bring ourselves closer to our rivers, because rivers enhance circulation. We should try that instead of building more and more roads. Experts say that besides planting trees, improving air circulation is the solution to Taipei's heat problem. That's achieved through urban planning and architectural design that lets wind move between skyscrapers and deliver cooling to the urban sprawl.